Oh, hey guys. This is the uh, the latest way to use your Starlink dish by just putting it, bolting it onto your hood. Don't worry, Dishy, we're back inside where it's safe, not bolted onto the hood of your car. Folks, I know that I don't need to tell most of you this, but I thought it was pretty funny to see this article shared all over the place. Look at this Prius. I mean, Dishy McFlatface is literally bolted on the hood. And if you're wondering, CHP did ticket the driver of that Prius with a moving violation. So the CHP officer in Antelope Valley posted about this on Facebook. It's been shared a bunch. And when he pulled the driver over, he says that he asked him, Sir, I stopped you today for that visual obstruction on your hood. Does it not block your view while driving? Apparently the driver responded saying only when I make right turns. So, you know, I suppose it could be worse. You can still go straight, you can still go left. I was pretty shocked to see this. I guess that the driver told CHP that he's been using the Starlink on his car to operate his business out of his car. So that's pretty interesting. And you know what, this is not the first person to try to do this with Dishy. In fact, check out this Reddit thread. This guy put it on top of his Lexus GX 460. Now, before people go nuts on this guy on Reddit, let me explain his plan. He wants to be out in British Columbia, Canada for most of the summer. He just got his Dishy McFlatface and no, he does not plan to use it like this in the picture that you see while he's driving. So his plan is to stow it in the car while he's driving, not have it mounted. This is sort of a takedown and setup when you get to whatever spot you're gonna be for the day and night. And he says it's super easy to remove. It just drops in and pops out with the squeeze of a couple tabs on the mounting post. So it's a pretty cool setup that he has made there. The other thing uh, people were asking about, well, how is he going to work around the whole geofencing? Since Starlink is geofenced, he says that what his plan is, is just that, to plan where he's gonna be, set the service address online before he loses service and just bop around like that. So it'll be interesting to see how it works out for him. And maybe some of you guys are already trying this. If you are, let me know how it's working for you. I know that when I made my original video, I took my dishy about 30 minutes from the service address to a park and it performed actually really well. So, um, so please let me know in the comments. I always love reading comments from you guys. And today is a really special day because we've hit over 10,000 subscribers. It is crazy to me to think about that, especially cause I had about 139 just six months ago. Again, if you're new to the channel, I thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is just the beginning, you guys. I really appreciate all of the support. Glad to have you along for the ride. If you like this video, please hit like, click subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you soon.